The cacao industry is a, is a $2 billion industry in the U.S. It's an industry that provides uh, thousands of jobs. We do a lot of research in collaboration with growers and, and they benefit significantly uh, of our crop. Uh, diseases are uh, a major problem of cacao uh, worldwide. Uh, black pod is one of those. We have uh, plant pathologists working actively on this. Uh, my name is Luz Serrato Diaz. I'm the plant pathologist here at the station at the USDA ARS Tropical Agriculture Research Station here in Mayagüez, Puerto Rico. Uh, my work here is uh, first identifying pathogens from our cacao collection. We are looking for resistance to the uh, disease that is called uh, cacao pod rot disease. This is the how it looks like the disease and the cacao become necrotic when it's infected. After maybe eight or ten de days, um, the fungus uh, can uh, start to grow here. You can see the difference of, uh, you know, the diversity of fungus. And then after that, uh, we took, uh, or we take a little pieces and put in another uh, petri dish uh, with PDA to purify, to isolate them. Once I identify all the pathogens that are in uh, the collection, just I conduct pathogenicity tests, just, you know, identify all the fungi and then uh, put it again to uh, healthy cacao pods to know if they, uh, they are pathogens or not. Cacao uh, pod rot disease is a very big problem worldwide and it was mainly caused by Phytophthora. But my work here uh, demonstrated that the, it's not only Phytophthora that are affecting cacaos here in Puerto Rico because we have here a complex of, of a genera of fungi. We have established uh, uh, field plots by crossing the, the nine uh, high yielding clones that were selected in Puerto Rico with disease-resistant uh, re disease materials uh, selected by Dr. Reichnell in Ecuador. I have some experiments with those materials in the field and see if hopefully we can develop some materials that we can test in other countries where the, those diseases are present and see if those materials are resistant to diseases. That will be of great help uh, to growers uh, anywhere in the Caribbean, South America, and Central America where cacao is produced and where these diseases are a major problem.